Good morning and welcome to It Will Do For Today. My name's Helen. Um, and we're currently going through the book of Proverbs using a technique called verse mapping, which I find quite fun. Um, it's a fun way that I can be inspired. Um, sometimes I find it a little difficult to, to just um, get into the word or get into a study. And this is one way that 100% draws me in. So let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 1, verse 15 to 16. And it says, My child, don't go along with them. Stay far away from their paths. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. So this is following on from um, the previous... Um, excuse me. This is following on from the previous verse... Uh, verses where they um, there are some sinful people trying to entice a son to go along and kill people for uh, gaining plunder. Um, so this is the next part. So my child, don't go along with them. Uh, stay far away from their paths. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. So what I've done here to save me um, forgetting anything or because I'm like that, um, I've already put some boxes and things in, um, and I I always do. Let me show you what let me show you what I've drawn round. So last time it was sellotape and a smaller sellotape and an IKEA basket thing for the pegboard that I have in the craft area. And also, this is an Ikea thing that slots onto a doobly flop. Um, so, that is my extremely high-tech uh, equipment. <laughs> um, so, we've got here a uh, background, um, which is really simple here because we know that it's Solomon, Solomon's wisdom talking to his child or children. We've got the different versions. Um, we've got the scripture, right, word study. I've already coloured in one is like a pale pinky purple and one is like a sage green. Uh, we've got cross references. We've By the time we've done all that, we should be able to really dig into what the essence of the verse is. Um... Then the application, so how can I apply this scripture to my life? And then this here, prayer, but also I've got space here. And then, realistically, I've also got the back side of this page. So don't worry about everything not fitting on this one side. If you need to go on to further paper, go for it. Because the more work you do, the better. So let's, let's get on with this. Okay, so, uh, immediately, so on the Blue Letter um, Bible website, I've got it on the New King James Version. Um, so that's the, m the more modern, easier to read version than the King James Version. So I'll just try and uh, zoom you down to, to there to have a look what that's saying. Oops, this is not easy. It says, My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path. For their feet run to evil, <clears throat> and they make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread. Hang on a minute. No, I've gone too far. Okay, so my son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path. For their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed blood. And my version says they hurry to commit murder. So um, I'm going to just write that down here. I'm in my dressing gown because it's quite early. We have some family staying and I won't have time to do this if I don't oop, if I don't do this early. So uh, my child don't go along with them. Don't walk in the way with them. 
stay far from their path. Keep your foot from their path. Well, I quite like that because keeping your foot from their path, whenever I think about my walk with Jesus, I regularly think about actually walking on a path with him. And there is there is the, the narrow path which we are walking with Christ, which is forsaking quite a lot of worldly and fleshly things. And then there's the wide path, which the majority of people are on. So when it says, keep your foot from their path, I imagine just sidestepping onto the wide path um, with that foot. So that's why I'm going to put that in there. So um, keep. your foot from their path um, and then the difference down here they rush to commit evil deeds for their feet run to evil they hurry to commit murder they make haste to shed blood I think I think I'm actually happy with not not writing the differences between um, that and the New King James Version. But I do want to just have a look at one other version on the computer. So oh, poor wrist. I'm going to go into tools, into Bibles, and then I'm interested in what the Young's Literal Translation says. So that's this YLT here. My son, go not in the way with them, withhold thy foot from their path. Yeah, that's... It says about the same, doesn't it? Yep. I'm happy with that then. Okay, so I'll go back. And so the the background of um, this scripture, um, again, like I said, is very simple. I kind of wish I hadn't used the page up for that particular Okay, um, so I think I'm going to do a word study, but let's have a look what interests me here. Um, they rush. My child, don't go along with them. Stay far away from their paths. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. This one, rush and hurry. So the easiest way I've found to um, to do this is to just go into the interlinear. Sorry for the wonky, jaunty angle. So go into this top one, the interlinear. down to oh it's the next one sorry this one excuse me it's a little bit early my brain might not be online yet they make haste okay so it's maha So it says swift, quick, hastily, soon, speed, headlong, rash, fearful, ready, shortly, speedily, straightway, suddenly. To be hurried, be anxious, hasty, 
impetuous and to hasten, make haste. So it's hmm, interesting here it says um, mao ha, a primitive root properly to be liquid or flow easily by implication to hurry. So it sounds like their their life's flow um, seems to be um, to quickly run to, you know, like the difference between a slow running river and a fast running river, I would imagine. So to quickly flow to and then this one in verse 16 I'd like to look at as well make sure it's of a similar it may be the same word but let's have a look um, here is that the one that it's in 16 For their feet run to the evil and they make haste to shed blood for their feet run. Okay, so the first one here is run. And this one is the one that we just did there. So I'm going to put a star there and a star there. And... Uh, Stop there. Let's see. This may literally be run. It says to run, to run swiftly, to bring or move quickly. Yeah, so it's, it is, it just means to run, to move quickly. So I'm just going to write that in. move quickly okay make a bigger dot okay um, I don't actually feel that I need to do a second word study um, I'm going to go to cross references so let's So on this tab, cross references. So if I go back, I'll show you um, back again. Uh, so instead of being across the top, if you just hover over tools, it's the purple tab is just there. I see how it comes up and it's there then. Okay. Great, what have I done now? Oh dear. Hang on. It's okay, I just skipped ahead to um, more chapters by using the arrow keys, so I now know that I can do that, which is great. Okay, sorry, so we're in tools, we go to cross references. So this will now show me correlating verses. So I wanted to come out of Proverbs really and see, oh yeah, so there's a psalm and now New Testament reference here. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. Okay, so that is for walk. And it gives you, don't enter the path of the wicked, avoid it, do not travel on it, forsake foolishness. Um, in the Psalms, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scorn. 
Um, so I would imagine, you know, not going for advice um, from somebody that isn't uh, does not hold your personal beliefs, worldview, or values. Um, this one I have not sat with idolatrous mortals, nor will I go with hypocrites. So again, that's talking about travel. Um, the word refrain. Don't turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. So I'm going to pop this one in because I think that one is, um, that's the one. That one speaks to me. So just going to move back down here. So this is Proverbs 4.27. Just need to move my feet back the right way. There we go. Um, do not turn to the right or left. Remove your foot from evil. Okay, I'm really catching this. Um, this is about the there's always the righteous path and the unrighteous path. And if you think that you are stepping into an unrighteous path, just take your foot back and put it onto the narrow path again. That's what I'm I'm hearing from this. Okay, so um, I'm happy with just one cross-reference. So the essence of the verse, I think I've just I've, I've just said it really. If you Notice that you are walking in the path of, I mean, unrighteousness, yeah. Righteousness, that's a big word. Realize it and remove your foot. From that path. Walk on the narrow path. Okay. So the application probably is very much just in line with the verse for me it would be to um there's another scripture called which my friend actually sent me this morning um guard your heart uh, for your life issues forth from from your heart essentially so i would just say that um an application for this verse would be um to um to watch what i do and say if it's not in keeping with 
Jesus. Turn and get. path. I would imagine um, to remove your foot from the, the other path, the path of unrighteousness would also involve repentance, um, you know, like confessing what you've been doing to the Lord. And I, I would reassure most people that Repentance can be a one-time event and there have been things in my walk with Christ where I've realised the error of my ways and I've repented, you know, heartbrokenly repented um, and that was it, it was done. Um, I I didn't then re, um, redo those same things that I was doing. Like, if I imagine Jesus in the room with me, would I do it? If not, it's likely it's not the the right thing to be doing. So there were, there's one-time events like that. And then there's other times where there's uh, things that I do that really don't line up with Scripture um, that I have to go in prayer and confess and repent. Um, and it's a sincere repentance, but then... You know, I, I'm. I've got to be real and honest. Sometimes within that day, I am back in confession again with the Lord. Um, you know, repenting of of the same thing, maybe to a lesser degree, but still the same thing. And even if I decide ahead of time that I'm like for, I'm just going to use a simple example: swearing. You know, cursing. Um, even beforehand, if I I have a couple of friends that I know I'm more likely to uh, drop some curse words in um, with. And before I meet them, I'll pray, Lord, please help help me to, um, you know, guard my tongue and all of those sorts of things. And I still end up in the passion of the moment um, swearing. However, there's an immediate sense of, oh, no, sorry, Lord, um, and whereas before, previous, I wouldn't have even given a second thought to dropping any swear words in any conversation at any point. So for me, it's a refining process or what might be classed as a sanctification process with swearing. Uh, so my prayer. Um, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your unending mercy. Please be with me. And help me stay on your narrow path. In Jesus' precious There we go. Um, I wanted to say a little about um, these pages. So my daughter is a very talented um, digital artist, and you know, physical artist and digital artist. And she was very excited to um, to want to create her own printable verse mapping. She came to faith not that long ago, actually, and. Um, the Lord is really using her creative 
abilities like um, a friend of mine who has an Etsy shop, Ty Mocking Crafts. Um, I will leave a link in the description. Um, who has also used her creativity um, for the Lord and yeah, the, the, I just I'm very very blessed to know quite a lot of very talented um, people, creative people. Um, I also have a really good friend, um, Francesca Price, um, and she has a blog that is a huge blessing. Um, you know, she's got three children, one, um, one's only just one really, and she's just so on fire for the Lord. She goes, uh, these, the blog that she has is just incredible. So I heartily recommend um, her as well. My um, my daughter, she also does uh, web design. So she's called Creatively Manifested. Now, I know that sounds very new agey, but that's what she's come out of. She's come out of uh, the new age, same as I was in the new age. And I actually led her into the new age. And um, thankfully... She's now walking very strongly with the Lord. Um, so creatively manifested. Ty Mockin Crafts. That's T-Y-M-O-C-H-Y-N Crafts. That's on Etsy. Um, she does cards and um, scriptures, you know, verses, memory things. She also does loads of crochet and, and things as well. Um, but I recommend her and... Um, and Francesca Price writer, I think it is. So she, she um, or Francesca Price um, WordPress. You know, she she does a blog. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Or it will do for today. Bye now. God bless.